Hey guys! Hey, uh, I know I'm really up close today on the camera because I'm trying to show you guys my teeth here. So, um, I want to talk to you guys about fluoride today and the gray aliens. Um, so my teeth here, um, this is called fluorosis on my teeth, these stains or whichever. Um, so one of the things that's, uh, interesting is there was something I read one day, and I, I think I mentioned this in another video. Um, so apparently gray aliens need fluoride to survive. They live off fluoride, and, um, I guess fluoride is, like, a big thing with the gray aliens or something. Yeah, I read something. It was an undercover website, and it's crazy because sometimes these websites, they'll disappear, and then you can't see them again, but, um, yeah, pretty much this website, it, um, it talked about how many of the gray aliens moved to Australia because um, they live, um, there's fluoride underground there and they need fluoride to survive. Like that's their main um, source. So um, one of the things I noticed was uh, as a child, I was, I'm gonna say addicted to fluoride. I'm gonna say that um, being a great, like at the time I was a great alien abductee when I, in the 90s, the early 90s, and uh, you know, all my abductions were the great aliens, and um, yeah, so I ended up, um, I, you know, it's crazy because of course I, I didn't know I was addicted to fluoride or whatever, but it, it's strange, I um, really, would drink a lot of tap water like I would be thirsty like I would get so thirsty and I would just drink from the hose for some reason like I really wanted water from like the hose um like tap water and things like that um so and, and at that time you know flor I, fluoride I guess has always you know been in the water but I think then it might have been a little more maybe at that time um I'm not exactly sure but uh yeah also another thing was I um these stains really developed because I had a thing for eating toothpaste. Now, I know a lot of kids would sometimes, like, eat toothpaste, like, eat the bubble gum. It was a bubble gum flavored toothpaste that I would eat that I was really into, and, um, yeah, it, it's really weird, but I would eat it every single day. I would just eat it, like, just eat it and eat it and eat it, and then, um, yeah, one day I woke up with these stains. It's called fluorosis, I guess, is what it's called, so it turns, um, it turns white, so I have these two white stains on my teeth, so, um, yeah, I definitely, um, I'm gonna be doing more research into fluoride, um, lately, and for the rest of this video. Right now, I'm just doing a little clip here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some more information on fluoride, and, uh, yeah, this, it's, it's really interesting when I had read what it said about gray aliens and fluoride, so, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to show you guys, uh, my teeth that, yeah, they, these have been stained since I was a kid. And, um, yeah, so let's talk more about this. <laughs> so, one of the things I just thought about and just realized was, okay, so, if the gray aliens live off fluoride, and this fluoride can turn, you know, spots of your teeth white, like, having, you know, like, too much fluoride in your system or whatever, um, so I'm wondering if the fluoride is what gives the gray aliens their whitish, grayish appearance, because, you know, the same way it's done this to my teeth, like, I'm thinking that there's a possibility that's what, you know, since that's most of their diet, um, and that's what they need to survive, that, that, that's a, a strong possibility, but yeah, I'm gonna keep, you know, definitely looking into this, because it's pretty interesting. Okay, guys, I no longer can find that underground website that, um, it spoke about <clears throat> the gray alien's need for fluoride and how they all basically moved to Australia, because it's underground. There's a big concentration of fluoride underground in Florida. So I, um, this is all I could find so far. Uh, it says their underground bases, Dulce, New Mexico, Pine Gap, Alice Springs, Australia, Area 51, and, um, I'm trying to see the other ones, but it will not load right now. There's one here saying there's a UFO society, alien abductions, telepathy, encounters. So, um, <clears throat> can't really find that, uh, website. Yeah, I found years ago, but, um, kind of getting some information here. And, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. 
So this here was written in 2016 inside Australia's UFO Society, Alien Abductions, Telepathy, Encounters, and Sightings. So that is pretty recent. So, um, yeah, guys, this, uh, I really think there's that they, um, you know, that website I saw, it just had such good information and it was saying how they, yeah, they moved to Australia because all the fluoride's underground there. So, um. Wow, it says they have a place here where they can speak um, freely about alien abductions. Wow, this is something in Australia. I'm kind of just scrolling through it. Kind of interesting, wow. So I would like to start a, a group where, uh, you know, we could talk about abduction. That would be pretty awesome, but... um. Yeah, so I wanted to talk more about this fluoride. Okay, so I'm here on Wikipedia looking at fluoride, an article. Um, so starting here, it says, In the lower doses used for water fluoridation, the only clear adverse effect is dental fluorosis, which I showed you guys on my teeth, which can alter the appearance of children's teeth during tooth development. This is mostly mild and unlikely to represent any real effect on anesthetic appearance or on public health so i oh wow check this out okay a popular urban myth claims that the nazis used fluoride in concentration camps but there is no historical evidence to prove this claim um it says in Areas that have naturally high occurring high levels of fluoride in groundwater, which is used for drinking water, both dental and skeletal fluorosis can be prevalent and severe. Grays are typically depicted as gray skin. Diminutive humanoid beings that possess reduced forms of or completely lack external human body parts such as noses, ears, or sex organs. Their bodies are usually depicted as being elongated, having small chest, and lacking in muscular definition and visible skeletal structure. So I wonder if that is partly due to um, the, uh, the fluoride, which is, um, you know, it... I guess forms your skeletal structure can do that to your skeletal s structure or whatever or something like that and um yeah with their legs being depicted shorter and jointed differently from humans with limbs proportionally different from humans so I'm thinking that their diet if they do consume fluoride um this must be you know part of how your body would form um, it's saying that they have unusually large heads in proportion to their bodies with no hair on the body, no noticeable outer ears or noses, sometimes with small openings or offices for ears, nostrils, or mouths in drawings. Grays are almost always shown with very large opaque black eyes. They are frequently described as shorter than average adult humans. So, speaking a little bit more about my experiences with the grays, um... They always were sticking things in my nose as a child. They really were always sticking things in my nose. Um, I had nosebleeds all the time. And I'm wondering if something they were sticking in my nose had fluoride or something. Or I don't know. But, you know, it's it's interesting. Um, so, this picture, this little picture doesn't really look like the gray animal. There's a lot of pictures that look like gray aliens online that look more like what a gray alien looks like to me. Um, but, um, yeah, I really wish I could find that information. That damn website is gone that had the info on the fluoride in Australia that they were there. And, um, yeah, so this is pretty interesting. So I'm definitely going to do some more research on this and, and try to see, like, what's up with this. But, um, yeah, there's definitely something going on with the gray aliens and fluoride. There's definitely a connection here. So yeah, so I wanted you guys to let me know what you think, and um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, once again, my email is in the description box, and thank you so much for watching.